Songa ne ya ABC yaka. Songa si ya government. Songa no techa ya government. Wokola sita ne mu inoche tegereza si ya government. Songa ABC yaka. Songa ya bana Uganda. Bari milioni ana muna ana si parliament na ba kulembese biko mi bitano ukumi apa. Songa ya bana Uganda bata yagala kuyengiri la mizengi bata amani ya kuvalubiri. Ejo kubiri nzonga ya constitution semateka wa Uganda ya gani bisi yaka so umuntu ya na yagalu kubizi hisa e yote kugenda ate kukora enkunga nziwera neba na Uganda baria abantu ba buri jo na abate sasa na abala goburu njoo buri bisi yaka na abasome saburu nji katia u guaba wangura ba na wakule mbese wa fenye bateka mkuu na yagalu kudachi kazi mm mm but now Uganda is busy with the activity of the Constitution. Constitution is Ghana. It is Ghana. It is Ghana. It is Constitution. It is Ghana. 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 It is It is It is Choko kuba bacha arano kuwa na gana waka, echo chini mikuano. Ba na yuga na tiba mani, tiba mani kuvera wamu mirembe. Tuto chini grizi bo anga bali chini tufe, tuto chikole damu kuchirua nisa. Nga nga butero gamba, tu kuvenga tu idagala, tu kuvengo ma, tu kuba gita, tuto ina chini tuka kuba. So chini mungu gera ya fe na mungu kora ya fe. Ebi tu kubiri kwa samani, nzito zanti, violence ali domestic ali watu, ati chini na ba chana na ba chuo na wa na wagamba, wamsajia ba ba taku ba ba taku agara, kaka tewe ba ba sajia ni ba uli re yo message, waganti kamura ganti mu agara, na mtu jia mumi, wana na mtu na mtu chapa, MP, ndoze chini chini yeyo, tu yiki tu ndoza tu chuo sain kora yafu, tu chuo sain jogera. To take a look, take a look between Gramumbera with what to gain the constitution is also the people of Uganda. All the ministers, all the government officials that are addressing this matter are only speaking on the surface. But it is Ugandans, the over 48 million people, that do not want to change their way of living and adopt a new system. So it's the Ugandans. Secondly, it is a constitution. So the sanctions that have been put on our ministers and all our leaders are totally, totally out of place. I think the West should come and have a debate with the common Ugandans and ask them why they want to behave like that. So it's not government. It's not government officials. It is the constitution. And it is the decision of the people of Uganda, generally, not just the leaders. The leaders are now falling victim of governing a society that wants to go a different route. Concerning uh, domestic violence, I think it has been there. Maybe it has now escalated to levels of notice, but it's been there all along. Uh, Africans are violent by nature. We don't play a drum, we beat drums. We don't play guitars, we beat guitars. We, we, we don't brush shoes, we beat shoes. You beat them with polish. Uh, the word beat, the word crash, these are our vocabularies. We are violent by nature. So when it comes out, it's not surprising. But we need to go back to our senses and uh, begin to control how we live and what we say or how we do things. I think when it comes to domestic violence again, you, you, you ask yourself, why did, you, did anybody get married? Or why do they get into a relationship where they know that they don't have the capacity to control their attitudes and behavior? It's sad. But we need to preach the gospel to them anyway, to get them changed and converted. Muruganda, the ndo wazee chichiva wabiri, echisokera dada, ebalu wazeba wandi yika, zitu ukange mbunu unakulu mba bili, emikoli jojiweo, katia au. Mbunu nadini taiza kujia kubanga, 
tutegeke ebintu bya finga mwaka mulamba kugenda ko bawo so singa basala wulu na kulumuru kusabira embera mwezikyo ne balulanga ti una kulwa kusabira chintu bwe chiti kiba chitegerika echo kubiri ngate na chichi kulu nyo amasizi zo sike katambulo kugenda eri wanna bya bufuzi wanna bya bufuzi bagende masinzi zo bugere nsongezo zitekirwa kwa agenda yo kusaba au mtu je kusabira nsongezo taken time and travel to study the effects of this corruption. I have not done a thorough study. I have not done any research as to why this country is as corrupt as it is. I could possibly say that the Bible says that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin corrupts the people. And sin is a reproach to any people. So, in my mind, we have allowed sin to go amok. We've allowed sin to prevail in this country. Nobody fears God anymore. And that is our trouble. But we can do a study next year and uh, come out with thorough research concerning the same. We can't make uh, solid comments where there is not much research.